nettle and turnips. It's all I could find. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There you go, young man. Come on, boy. Oh, oh. You wouldn't Thank stop you. a lamb. Come on. I hurt my shoulder. Shake it off. Ha. Don't hold back. Follow through. And... To your feet. Up. You keep moving as long as your body will follow. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my balls. Eva, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I'm to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishaya in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Deolov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Eva will toughen you up, but watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. When things get too quiet, I throw daggers. <laughs> I'll be on my guard. As future eldermen, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That's not a recipe for a good parlay. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eifor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your freening brother? Ah, uh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Bishop Dalev and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dalev, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain cowards, all of you! Suck on yellow snow, filthy things! We'll fresh do our holes with your entrails! Come on then, let's have at it! Captain O'Neill, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You 
I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call Boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Cheobeth, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Cheowulf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Abkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will become available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rodri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I'll consider your words. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. But I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shirovshire. And never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. No! Enough of this nonsense! <laughs>
Are you... Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Your silver's in the hands of one who wants it most. Now pray to your god, it does some good. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Just give up! Come up the bed! <laughs> Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! 